Drill music is a subgenre of hip hop that originated in Chicago in the early 2010s. It's characterized by its aggressive lyrics and trap beats that reflect the harsh realities of urban life. The lyrics of drill music often reference violence, drugs, and street life and are delivered with a raw, unapologetic. Mm -hmm. Explain drill music to people out there that don't know what it is. <sighs> drill music has got, damn it, uh, you know, what we used to call drill music is like when you be, you know, when you into it, mm -hmm. and you know, and there's rowdiness going on. Do it have anything to do with like a band from high school and instruments and things like that? No. It's just called drill music. Yeah. Okay, because some call, of the people. Dr we call, dr uh, you know, action no. drill. Okay, that's y'all action. Yeah. Y'all gangster yeah. shit is drill we, music. We call it drill. Okay, see, because a lot of motherfuckers, you know, they was thinking drill music meant, like, you know, when you were in a high school band. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the drill team, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. No, no, this is the drill you with that thing, man. No, no, yeah. no, yeah. Yeah, the drill yeah, yeah. in Manila. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Imagine real. that. But, yeah, a lot, I know a lot of, a lot of people hear it. The understanding of that, all oh, crazy, all, oh, you know. Yeah, they didn't understand up. it. Right. Yeah, it was a Chicago thing. Uh -huh. Yep. That's what it was. Certain things ain't meant for everybody. You know, it just went international. The world caught on to it, and then now y'all want to know what it means. But if you're from Chicago, you already know what it means. Mm -hmm. The first drill tracks emerged from Chicago's South Side, where poverty, unemployment, and gang violence were rampant. The lyrics often describe the experiences of young men who had grown up in these neighborhoods and had witnessed or been involved in violence themselves. The beats of drill music are heavily influenced by trap music, with booming bass lines and sparse, repetitive melodies. Just like dark and um, sometimes melodic and happy sometimes. I don't know, it's just a variety of everything. As drill music gained popularity, it began to spread beyond Chicago and into other cities, including London and New York. Each city put its own spin on the sound, but the lyrics remained focused on the realities of life in the inner city. In the UK, drill music was associated with gang activity, and the lyrics often referenced stabbings and other violent crimes. Drill is violent. Oh, half of it is violent, half of it's not like there's, there's, there's this is what we live in it, so we're doing what we live. There's a lot more to me than music, you get me? And I want other people to know what's going on in my life. Once this documentary comes out, they're gonna see, you know what, let's see what he's actually about, you get me? Everyone thinks I'm just mm. a violent animal mm. when it's not that. Drill could be misunderstood as well. Mm. It's just a beat. Mm. It's a type of beat. You get yeah. me, and you do whatever you want to do with the beat. From the outside looking in, it looks like you're at a, a, a new start in life almost. Well, yeah. you could say that. You could say that where, I'm, where I am now is different to where I was before. And it's still on track, you get me? Secondary. Despite the controversy, drill music continued to grow in popularity with artists like Chief Keef, Lil Durk, and Pop Smoke achieving mainstream success. However, the association with violence continued to dog the genre, and some cities even tried to ban it. I had no idea what drill rapping was, but I called my son, and he sent me some videos, and it is alarming. A gritty form of rap, with songs and viral dances made to celebrate local murders. The violence is infused in the music. Two drill rappers have been murdered in New York City so far this month. The story of 18-year-old Jaquan McKinley, known as C. High, brought Mayor Eric Adams to tears Thursday. The story of Jaquan breaks my heart. His story tests my spirit. McKinley was shot and killed, leaving a recording studio in Bed-Stuy Sunday morning. On February 1st, 22-year-old Tajay Dobson, known as T.Wu, was killed in a drive-by shooting in Canarsie, just hours after securing a record deal. There have been lately a number of shootings of known rappers, some very known with good careers uh, right in front of them. Aisha Sekou runs Street Corner Resources in Harlem. Sekou says her organization is increasingly responding to shootings, stabbings, and beatdowns that are carried out in retaliation for drill music songs that brag about local murders. There are calls to action in the music. On the grave, to smoke 
uh, on the grave of someone. Hot 97 DJ Drewski recently said he'll no longer play what he calls diss music on the radio. But rapper and Brooklyn native Fabio Foran defended Drill this week, saying it's not the music killing people. Mayor Eric Adams told PIX11 today he's focused on the social media sites where drill videos can rack up tens of thousands of views. We're going to ask these companies, we're going to ask them for good corporate responsibility. This is contributing to the violence that we're seeing all over this country. The mayor is also calling on prominent rappers to step up and step in. I am meeting with some of the top known rappers. Uh, we have a meeting set up where we're going to sit down and really bring in the rappers and show how this is impacting and is causing the loss of lives of young people like them. Tamsin and Corey, so many of the drill music videos we found on social media today were simply too graphic to show on the evening news. Mayor Eric Adams said if former President Donald Trump can be removed from Twitter, he certainly believes that many of these violent videos can be removed from social media as well. Despite the challenges, drill music remains a powerful force in hip hop with its uncompromising lyrics and hard hitting beats continuing to resonate with young people in urban communities. Whether it's in Chicago, London, or New York, drill music will continue to tell the stories of those who have been ignored and marginalized and give a voice to the voiceless.